This episode is sponsored in part by Titan Nutrition. Save 10% by using code Weird Ones by clicking the link in the description. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to another episode oh, of the Corner. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't ready. Like no, wasn't ready. start over. Because nah, my mic rolling. was falling down and stuff. We got Johnny in the building. We got Lindari in the building. Present. We got Chris in the building. I go by the name of King. How y'all doing, folks? That's how we doing that? Okay. Yo, That's what's how we up? Doing that? <coughs> here, 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 on this yeah, installment on the Corner, we'll be reviewing Leon Thomas's Electric Dusk. Before hmm. we get into people's opinions on this, how'd you find this guy? Because the album art looked cool. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm trying to find new shit. And I was like, oh, nah, man, that's, that's pretty bullshit. cool. Let me go see. For real. But then you listen to it and it's like, ah, oh, let me. It's all right. I heard the first couple of tracks. I'm like, okay, this ain't, this ain't bad. All right. But yeah, I like Benny that's, the Butcher on there. Uh, that, that was another thing. I looked at the track list. I was like, he must have some kind of some kind of track. It was another. Some, uh, he got some names on there. It was another feature on there. A big Ty feature. Ty Dolla Sign, yeah. And uh, Victoria Monet. But uh, we're going to start things off on the dairy. Why? Because that's what we always do. Man. Look, I'm just going to be quick, fast, and to the point. <laughs> that's what she said. Ooh. As long as I come first. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. Whoa. Let me pull it up on my phone, oh, man. Pause. <laughs> Can uh, y'all hear me okay? Yeah, we got you. I right, can't really go. hear Chris. You talking, Chris? You for real, for real? Let me see. Talk. What's up? What's up? No, I can't hear nothing. All right. Nah, I know you lying. All right, Electric mm-hmm. Dust. What can I say? This was... Start off with your rating and tell us how you got there. No, I'm just going to tell you how I got there. This was a very forgettable album. I'm going to tell you that. You can let right him tell day. you about your show? I wouldn't let that happen. You know what, okay. Chris? Not on, my, not on my watch. Bro, like, first off, don't try to get back in this good grace after the shit you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start off with Slow Down. It was... Bleh. It was okay. It wasn't nothing... It wasn't nothing memorable about it. Then the I second one would be in the intro. book. You thought it was a good I intro? It was a cool intro. Yeah, it was, it was okay. It wasn't like nothing that blew one. me away. Like, oh, that's a great song. What's the intro? Then the next one, X-Rated, had Benny the Butcher. I thought Benny was nice in there, but uh, Leon Thomas didn't do nothing for me. So I can't give you no points for that. I can't okay. let Benny carry the song for you. I think that's a cool little concept, though. I mean, it's, I mean, it's been sung about before. It's kind of like if the walls could hear us, you know, it's going to be X-Rated. Like we know that if these yeah. walls, I mean, talk. I thought, you know, it's still a cool concept. Talk, boy. Damn, for this basement that we in right now on this couch. <laughs> Did you, you thought Leon? <laughs> you thought Leon Thomas was good on that one though? Like, <laughs> I didn't get no I'm great talking about vibes. Our conversations, like if our walk, if oh, our walls talk oh, about, oh, I, was I knew what you were saying. Like, they, they, no, you know, that's, that's that man's so fucking like, wife. Are, <laughs> that's all I'm like. What are y'all on? Say what? Like this couch where I'm sitting. My what spot? They, this is my spot. What they put in that coke? <laughs> no, something else, boy. What? He just spilling all the tea. <laughs> no, I thought I thought it was a cool song in general. And Benny made it cooler. I thought Benny made the song. I didn't really like what he was doing on it. So I'll go with that. The second, our third song was Blue Hundreds. Dude, are you going to go song by song? Yeah. I'm just going to tell you the quick notes I got. Blue Hundreds. It sounded kind of like the Black Keys with a rock vibe, but it wasn't that great. Uh, well, this is uh, alternative R&B. It was. Yeah. It is. Okay, I was like, I don't know what they're going for here. It sounds kind of, I guess maybe that's what the Black Keys oh, do too, because they, they have that say, type of sound. They say R and B soul, but I took it as an alternative R and B. So you just putting your own labels on it, even though it say R and B soul. You just agree with them. Well, I listened no, to I'm, it and I'm, I'm like, this asking. is. I'm just it asking. didn't sound like that's what you, cla- you classified that was my as that. biggest. You just stole like my biggest point about what? What was that? It didn't sound like R and B. Oh yeah, yeah, it didn't. So that's why I was like, man, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It didn't sound like R and B. It didn't sound good enough, like the Black Keys or no shit like that. It was like in that stuck in that weird gray space. So it was just unclassifiable to you. It was like I know what you were going for, but I think you missed it. What would you? What do you? What do you think he was going for? Name an album. The Black Keys, okay. or like a, yeah, like the Black Keys, or like a. What's the what's woman? That one song you like a lot. <laughs> or uh, what's the? Oh, she the was song. the lead singer, Alabama Shakes. Britney Howard. What's that song? I don't know. Black Keys got a lot of songs. No, no that's, that's not, not Black, Black Keys. Keys. This is a... Uh... 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's the gooey. glass gooey. animal. I know it's that yeah. something to do yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Like that sound. Animals. Yeah, okay. Glass animal. I like. Yeah. I like that. Group. Okay. Uh. Then that sound is dope. Yeah, that but song? what would you call that? Like R and B. Like uh, I don't know what kind of music you call that. Oh, heat waves. Like, I like heat waves yeah. from Glass Animal. Cause it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's not R and B. It's not pop. It's not hip hop. But it's like, it's stuck in there. Like, yeah, it's just like he got st- he got stuck in the Matrix. It's His motherfucker's like Mitch McConnell or something. I don't Hold know. on, oh I, God. boy, it's too soon for that, boy. <laughs> boy it's just way too soon for that. I literally said alternative R and B. What was wrong with that? That's what I said. I agree. I mean, I can't complain. I don't, you know, whatever. But all in all, I gave this a four. I didn't. I didn't think oh, it was okay. anything special at all. I mean, the song with Ty Dollar Sign was good, mm. but then he was using like a voice modulator, sound like a robot or something like that. It was weird. He kind of killed that whole track right there for me. The best song on here, I thought, was Breaking Point, the remix, the last one. Oh, Victoria Monet. Yeah, it was tolerable. Okay. But beyond that, it wasn't nothing. that was like it's terrible. It was just like it don't really move the needle at all. For Say me. that again, oh, like damn. Charles Barkley. Terrible. 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 Turbo, yeah, turbo. It was not turbo, it turbo, was not turbo, turbo. That's what Journey said about first day of pre-K. How turbo? was your day, baby? It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Get your money back. <laughs> you know, usually they just talk and be like, it was how good. She, how did she finish out the week? She did good. She okay. does good. Hmm. Nah, yeah. Right. So the last song was probably the best song. Socialite was okay, but like I said, nothing for me really moved the needle. So all in all, it's a four for me. Okay, what you got, Johnny? All right. He kind of stole my thunder a little bit. I was going to say that it's not the type of R&B that I like to listen to. I think I explained this before. I forgot whose album that was that we listened to, but it was kind of like you you singing or you kind of doing R&B, but you talking about like trap shit mm. or you talking about stuff that uh don't really like. Ty Dolla Sign? Nah, uh, but it like, don't it don't match the genre. Yeah, you and it about. don't like I don't really care about no social lights in this world. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah, whatever. What she do? I, she I'm trying. Trying. Like, we trying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I like the R and B where I can get close to my lady. <laughs> <laughs> you want some Joe? You, know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, you want some Joe? Yeah, oh, this ain't doing for me. But I will say that Joe I, even though I really didn't like what he was talking about on like any of these songs, I thought the music was dope on these songs. Yeah. Like somebody else could have took this music, did more with did it, did something else with it, and, and this would have it would have been a dope album. Yeah, I okay. feel like you know okay. what I'm saying. So like just listening to the music on every track, I was like, oh, the production is really nice. I mean, it was. Like, and he so, heard, so the music you give it, I'm gonna give it a whole, just a whole grade. Oh no, okay. I know you gonna give it a whole <laughs> grade, but I was gonna say, <laughs> just, well, but go ahead, go it's ahead. Just, it's just all wrapped in one. All right, just <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Let me ask you this: What you think about the song Love Jones on there? Let me hear it. But I think he produced most of, or some of this. I like the music on most of the tracks, but the Love Jones I thought was doing just too much. Do you hear that, Kanan? I think he produced some of this himself. Oh, I didn't even. Nah, check it's cool. Enough. He's doing too much with the vocals, but the music itself is fine. Like, put it's, Joe on this. Yeah. Like fast forward. This is the song where I thought it put me. Oh in. no, I did say the voice machine sounds like a robot. Yeah, I'm like, no, that's <laughs> not, the music sounds great. I'll say I think it. that's the Go ahead. But, um, yeah, it's just, like I, I can only say it so many ways, it's just not my type of R&B music to listen to. Not to knock the young man, keep doing your thing, but uh, I'll give it a five. Okay, give him a five. Yeah. God damn. Because he, uh, he did Snooze with SZA. So? Oh, that's a great song. <laughs> Snooze was great. Yeah. yeah. I know. I mean, it's not on this album. <laughs> but I'm just like, saying that. Fuck? I'm thinking, like, if he didn't put Snooze on here, I'd probably bump him up. I'm more. saying that's some of his work. Yeah, that's yeah. good work. All right, yeah. Yeah. He probably should have put it on here, huh? His version of Snooze. I just Wait, he, like, did the, he did the production? He did the production. I think he either wrote for it or did the production on it. Because the, the problem he is, writes I just too. think his, like, uh, lyrics and shit, what he's saying don't... That's what I was like, going to say. If he, went, if he went, mm-hmm. like, with this music, pretty much every song, I think, too. Like, it wasn't a... Song that I heard where I was like, oh, nah, it's just a straight skip. Uh, the music was really good. With this music, if he was more appealing to, like, uh, women, like, trying to talk you out your draws and mm-hmm. set up the mood and all of that, I think it would be a much better album. I think he's wrote for, like, Drake and... That don't got nothing to do with this. Uh, I'm just saying. Maybe it's the performance. I don't know, but I was like, yo, the last song sounds good. Like, you should have did all the songs somewhat like that. Yeah, whatever. I gave it a five. So 
So he didn't herald this. I did not herald this. I haven't heralded <laughs> an album in a while. Now. I see. I'm gonna bump up from. Well, I last guess they don't. They don't know the last episode. Oh yeah, but I gave Quavo <laughs> a four. If you ain't know, well, technical difficulties. What I give Quavo? I don't remember. It was more than a four though. All right, let me pull up. Try. Let me pull up my notes. I blame this on Sarah. She said we were too high with our rankings, and we don't like something that shouldn't be over a five. So put this on Sweet Feet. Oh, this man got a four today because of her. <laughs> <laughs> man, okay, all right. Um, let me pull up my notes. We had uh, I thought his vocals were decent. Let me ask you a question: How come you ain't pull up your notes when we talking? Because be ready. I'm engaged with y'all. Not list, not reading my notes, but I'm engaging with y'all. No, Chris just likes to make his own segment of a segment. Oh. He wants the attention on him, so he says. So he's like the A block and shit. Yeah, so let, let me like pull action up. words like that to make people be like, yeah, like oh, okay. let, let's look at him pull up his notes. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see what these notes are talking about. And they see and they see me proceed to pull up my notes. So, but uh, we didn't have many notes on this. Only on Thomas, Mister Thomas here. Uh, but I feel like each song had like its own sound. Like you could not say about this album that every song sounds the same. Right? No. And that's kind of a good thing. Sure. <laughs> I guess that kind of goes along can... with what you said that the music was good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The music was good, but just because uh-huh. every song sounded alike don't mean it's like every song is good or decent or anything like that. And the music was just good. That's kind of what an artist is supposed to do. Like, you know, yeah, when you But you gotta find your thing, I feel. I think he. This is his thing. Yeah, like, I don't like his. This thing, is his man. thing. Yeah. Shit. He need to do a better thing, man. A different thing. Uh, but I also had um. Um, I think that's all the notes that I had. You have one fucking note. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I already said some. <laughs> I already said some of my notes. Oh I, my uh, <laughs> I interrupted y'all with some of my notes. Like I said, you I had to do that on your segment. Dude, you I can't even pour this drink right. <laughs> it sounds like uh, some of my notes oh, said that it sounded like uh, alternative R and B. So I already said that, and then uh, the vocals I thought were cool. It's like new R and B. Yeah, nah, I feel like because, um, like you already had like you know like we used to like. The ballads and things like that, Joe, R. Kelly's, all of them, right? But then you had like that wave where you had like Trey songs and them doing shit where it was mm-hmm. kind of like almost rapping, but it was still like R and B ish. But now I think we've turned into like a new R and B with this. I don't know about that. So I haven't heard anybody else that sounds like this but him. Oh no, nah, it was. Some, we listened to an album. I do not remember what it was, but I had I've had that same feeling about that album. I'm trying to think I have to go back and reviewed. listen to our, re- our. It wasn't. It was being months. Was it the young dude we did? Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Eli Derby. Eli, Eli Derby. Derby. Cause that sound like a. I don't think it, he R&B. had more of an R and B sound to yeah. him though than this. Yeah, nah, oh, are remember. you talking about uh, October London? Like, I October like October London. London. Come on, now. Yeah. yeah, that was fantastic. I like that album yeah. a lot. Cause that I was, on still, the radio that was like, oh yeah, yeah. Song, it's something like that song is like blowing up, man. Cause he's coming to town. Yeah, he'll be here next week. This weekend. Last weekend. No, this weekend. This weekend. September third. September 3rd, Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, man. Come on. Back to me. What, what right, notes man. you got? You had one fucking note. <laughs> I already said my notes, man. What's your score? All right. You ready for my score I'm already? ready for the score. We didn't hear what songs I was adding to my playlist. I'm guessing none. So, if you're taking notes at home, add to my playlist. So I I'm added. Talking about, uh, so I'm talking about yeah. making his own show. You got to <laughs> command the, the screen. You got to you gotta know, feel you know, the room. You got to feel the room. Yeah. Maybe I should unplug his mic again. It probably is right now. Last week? <laughs> I looked at what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, but no, I had uh, X rated, Love Jones. Thought those were good songs. Uh, Breaking Point, the remix, and uh, Crash and Burn. What's that for? I don't know if why you looked at us like that. Like we were going to be like, yeah, them the good ones. No. <laughs> yeah, too many of them were good. I'm over here thinking like your playlist is just got to just be, you just throw anything on the playlist. I don't feel like that's just anything. Oh, I promise you that was anything. Nah. I mean, it's your opinion. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. This is but uh, we had, what, 12 subjective. songs, and I added one, two, three, four. Four songs out of 12 30%. to the playlist. Yeah. So that's not just anything. Like, there was a couple songs on here that was like, eh, skip. You had, like, how many uh, skips you count? 
I didn't really have any skips. Like it was cool. They were when cool. you say skip, you're not skipping these songs, are you? I'm not skipping this. Okay, no. When he say he skips, he's skipping the song. Yeah. You you like hitting skip. On when it. I say skip, I'm like I'm never listening to that again. Skip. But you finished the song though. For the review, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, so no, I'm no. Like, I don't think he did. <laughs> I think he's like literally like no. And I'm letting that. them know the people at home that's gonna pull this up and listen to it. It's kind of like you should probably just skip over that song. Don't even listen. Don't even waste your time. Your three minutes or whatever. That's when I when I say skip. I'm trying to warn the people at home, you know, or at your job, wherever you look, watching. Mm-hmm. Um, it's but now. he got the juice now. But my final score for this album. We just not getting here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, he does all this Y'all bullshit. kept interrupting me, all man. This, all this build up. I do this for the for people, this man. Did somebody say we always gang up on Chris? Man, yeah, I exactly. I feel like a comedy. She don't even listen that. no more. Oh, for real. Well, that oh, shout out. What's her name? <laughs> I don't think she listened no more. Oh, she ain't said cool. nothing. That's true. Uh, but I gave. Well, fuck your score, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I hey, gave this album. Air <laughs> 5, my nigga. <laughs> If you still got your notebooks at home, write down Chris score 6.8. Let's go, Keenan. What you got? He gave it a seven. Okay. He gave it a seven. Um, during my musical journey down this album. Okay. And then you do this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So it was a couple, like I got different vibes from that. I mean, it was a very vibey album. Um, like it doesn't, like, like you said, it's just like in the midst of a couple different genres. Um, it felt like it felt like Frank Ocean at times. It felt like... I did get Frank Ocean vibes. So you know I feel you on it that. It just felt like the electric, you know, alternative uh, uh, R&B. Now, this right here, this is a Saturday morning. Put it on in the background, not really paying attention to it. I can clean the house of this. I can clean the house. Me and your Saturdays are different. Yeah. <laughs> I would not want to clean the house. Yeah, that. I can clean the house. Because like, it wasn't nothing too hype. It wasn't nothing too too slow. It was kind of mellow, kind of chill. Dude, I don't want to... I don't want to discourage this... Go ahead, go ahead, like, go ahead. If, this, if I was cleaning the house and one of these songs came on, it'd be the song where I stopped like, who the fuck is playing with my phone? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, like I liked I liked the flow of the music. I liked the, the production on the album, so that's why I say that. So for me, I liked the music a lot. Um, I gave it about a seven. You know, the, the, the content was okay, um, but the vibe of the album was really good. That's really, really the good. vibe and the music were good, but it like 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 Derry said, the lyrics were. Mm. And this is actually his debut album, which is so, crazy. Yeah, that makes sense to me. This though. is a debut album, which is crazy because he's a writer too. It's like you think the lyrics would be a little bit. Yeah, it tighter. was like if the Dreams debut album was trash. Mm. I remember the Dreams debut album. It was really good. Was it? Yeah, like his okay. first like four albums were like fire. Maybe three. News to me. Yeah, they were fire. Newsflash, buddy. <laughs> they were fire. They were fire. <laughs> um, yeah, I gave it about a seven, man. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was it. it was cool. It just had a couple, a couple, a few low points. I switched a couple to a few. <laughs> uh, the pro- I feel like when it's supposed to be an R and B album, you gotta have at least like one or two songs that's like I think, really that I think good R and B. I think the thing is when we look when we read R and B, we think great rhythm and ballads. Blues. You know, so we think we think the R and B we grew up on. I don't think that yeah. every time. I could, I, I actually play albums. I go into it blank mind. I don't expect nothing. I don't. I don't have any expectations. Well, I mean, you wouldn't expect expect like, the heavy metal, were you? No, I wasn't. You, I never heard of this dude. I just pushed play. I didn't that's expect what, nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I didn't even look. I told you, I found R&B it because I like the album cover. I'm just trying to find new shit. But you know I still, what I'm when I listen to it, it's still like once I get a song or two in, I'm like, oh, I think. I think this is supposed to be R and B. Like I never even looked at that R and B and sold. Yeah, because like yeah. there's no. I just man, noticed that. Really, yeah. to me, really, there's no actual true genres no more. It feels like because like, everybody's true. borrowing from each other genre. Which, if this one's hype, like right now, everything is Afro beats, dance hall, and shit. Like that's what everybody's doing because it's the popular music. So when I go into, I don't a, like that either. When I go into an album, shit. I just listen to see what what they're presenting me with. But even when you listen though, you get a feel like, oh, I see what this is supposed to be. like. You listen to this, well, like yeah, well, you're like, huh? I wonder what he's going for here. Well, okay, so this, I'm, I'm just thinking like, just a vibe, you know, just a vibe. Like October London, when I listened to that, was like, that was like, <laughs> that was October really good, London though. was really good. Because why are we comparing them? No, no, I'm not. Because he we're, just we're, said we're, the name. Because we're talking about R and B and having expectations. But, but when the I turn thing it on, October London for us was. 
It sounded like Marvin. It was he was it it was tapping into Marvin, which is something that we nailed know that very shit. well. Yeah, for sure. It's something that we know we know very well, and then he didn't mess it up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's And he can it. sing. But I heard the the take me back to your place. That's the first time I heard. Ooh. And that's a good motherfucker. <laughs> <song. laughs> that's the first thing I heard. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let me go peep the rest of this. Because OG put me onto that. But this, I was just like, yeah. We're looking for something. And the other shit, I didn't think the other shit I found. Well, I didn't even I didn't even check that out yet. So I heard a couple. I just breezed through this was like, oh, this sounds like it's, like it has potential. We're so. not knocking you for picking no, it out. I'm just, I'm I'm like, yeah. You ain't got to apologize. No. Yeah, hey, this hey, is you niggas is crazy. So sometimes I feel like I have to. <laughs> yeah, like you don't have to. But nah, uh, it was cool. I liked it. It's, a, it's um, a different vibe. It was a different vibe, which is a good thing. Would you listen to it again? Yeah, I listened to it on the way No, I mean, be, two weeks from now, you looking oh, back two weeks like, from yo, now? what's that album? Like, I still go listen to Odyssey. I told you, like, I'll probably listen to that once a week. Yeah, you like, say that one, literally every episode. Because this that's is, that's what I'm saying. Like, some stuff I just hear like, that I want to hear that. You hear old that album. October London. Like, nine times out of ten, time. after I do a review, I'll go through my phone and I'll look at the album. If I don't want to listen to it no more, I'll just delete it out of my phone. This one, I, I, I'll keep it, and I might go back to it. <laughs> Take it, delete it? <clears throat> what was the last album you just deleted out your phone? Uh, I think Quavo got deleted this week. Did, didn't we do... Uh, 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 Young Thug got deleted. Mm. Who did we I do? just like, oh, uh, you went on that. The Chicago rapper, Lil Durk. You delete that? Did we review that? Yeah. 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 I With the, I Durk had a few tracks. Like the, yeah, Shit I think I deleted that. Dirk got a few it tracks, was, what, though. Healed, finally healed or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I deleted You got to add a couple, a few of those tracks um, to your playlist, though. I might have deleted that Khaled album. You're not, re- you're not going back to... There's very few albums you're going back to the whole album. Well, like, that's, that might, you might be speaking for yourself. That's why you move on with just your playlist, for real. No, that's a, you're speaking for yourself. I like for the yourself. art. I like the art of the album. That, that that's a Now, he's speaking for album. himself, too. Yeah, there's very few. Look. So... He like the art of the album. I don't even know what that means. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm weird. So you know, I'll reorder to where I think it sounds better. We are the weird. You reorder ones, so. an album. You doing too much, that. bro. I have done. Be honest oh, with you. Yeah, I take, I, I take songs off. I make it. So man, you out here just it. reordering your cue and shit? Like, nah, that's how. <laughs> like, this nigga, you should have put this here and that there. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do that. Uh, mm-hmm. See, I just gotta, I just push play. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hear shuffle. I just want to listen to it all the way straight through. Yeah. yeah. Well, they said like. uh Kendrick Lamar, you're supposed to listen to backwards or whatever. Yeah, that, was that. that was the damn album. Damn, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that. I'll yeah. do that. But I did it. How you even do that? I mean, you got to keep hitting the button. Dude. Yeah, that's true. No. no. You make a playlist and just yeah. put them in there backwards. That's true. You I ain't got do time that. for that. I, I ain't think about I ain't that. Got I'm like, that. song over. Okay, let me go back to the one so you before. you got to hit it twice. Yeah. Nah. But I did listen to it backwards but, after yeah, I heard but, that. Yeah, I, it's, it's an art to track listing in my opinion. And, and because of that, I got that from Kendrick Lamar. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I want my motherfucking head. That's fine. That's Are you fine. I understand. This? Johnny? You watching this? Oh, oh. I can't hear it. So Excuse I don't know what's going on. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. I'm gonna start it over. If Get Drake come out, we gonna. <laughs> that Drake gonna come We've been out. if Drake comes out for a few weeks now. My nigga. <laughs> if Drake drops. My nigga. <laughs> got y'all. Don't say nothing about that shit. Do y'all listen to PJ Morton? I don't know who that uh, is. Tom, I feel Tom. like I know that name, though. You do. He's out. Huh. I've been listening radio to him this week. Here, so. um, I listen to the radio do, with my kids in the car. We might can do Friday next week. It's an artist named Friday. Oh, I'm oh, like, yeah, we pot like, on Friday. Kid. It's literally <laughs> Friday hey, right now. Hey, hey, I fucked him up good, didn't I? I look too like... <laughs> I had to look like you gonna say nigga, something else? My, like, <laughs> my process was burning up. Like, I what wanted the to fuck? check out this John ba- Baptiste album. Because this is the dude that was on... Uh, uh, Tiny Desk with uh, uh, Juvenile. He was one of those cats that came out. Oh, John Baptiste is from New Orleans, and he had a he oh, had a the, song. the the jazz guy that had the trumpet. Yeah, he has a song with Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne came home. So that is song. he just playing the trumpet and people rapping over it? I don't know. I haven't. I, I saved it, but I haven't listened to it because the video. Next clip, week we doing John Baptiste. For what, we getting sure. into jazz? Wow. I like jazz. I like jazz. I have a too. whole jazz playlist. It's oh, classified as pop. Man. It's classified as pop. So we're going to get a whole bunch of jazz. Don't mean that. That might be the first four ever. Dude, I for think me. you'll catch the, a vibe, the, bro. The snippet if you I saw. To my jazz playlist, you'll catch a vibe. The snippet I saw, he's playing the piano and Lil Wayne's rapping, and, but, and Lil Wayne is killing that shit. So. Are we going to talk about Lil Wayne's intro to the Undisputed, bro? <laughs> hey, I didn't see it. Hey, man, here. calm down, fam. It's, <laughs> an intro, it's an intro to a, a, a TV show, it's dude. Fire. Relax. It's what, what do you do? I missed oh, it. I got that one was fire to me. 
But really? if it ain't if it ain't Kenny G, that's my jazz goat. Oh, you know, get the fuck out! to wipe some out, man. Kenny G, your jazz goat. <laughs> he put. <laughs> hey, just send it in the in the group chat again. It's in the group chat. Yeah, I had to start it. my messages off on my iPad. Turn my messages off on my iPad. We'll do that later, man. Let's yeah. All right. Well, Johnny said, Lil Wayne, chill. This J- is just John a Baptiste. <laughs> but if you if we're lucky enough to Drake drop, we're gonna do two albums for, for y'all sure. next week. Ooh, two of them things. Ooh. So it'll be one because Drake ain't dropping. Drake ain't dropping. Drake ain't dropping. Drake ain't dropping. He so. said coming soon. He ain't give a date. That's no, the exactly. nigga said a couple weeks, about four weeks ago, <laughs> dropped the app. Nigga wore the dog mask. And I'm like, all right, man, fuck this guy. But anyway. Peace and love. Nigga, would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking show's over. <laughs> <laughs>